Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to this video. My name is Corey, and today we are in Akihabara, very famous area for otaku culture, gaming, electronics, and anime. And uh, behind me, we're going to be checking out Super Potato, Super Potato, and uh, it's a very world famous retro gaming store. And this is the flagship store. It's got three stories, uh, two of them, I believe, are just like all games and consoles and stuff. The top floor uh, of the store is a retro game center, like an arcade. So they've got some old gaming cabinets in there and stuff. And so uh, today we're going to be checking it out. I noticed that there was a lot of people walking into it, so I don't know how crowded it's going to be. It's definitely very tight in there um, and it might be a little bit hot and noisy, but uh, we're going to go and uh, try our best. So yeah, let's go. right here got a nice little sign outside talking about all the different stuff they got a third floor fourth floor and fifth floor so the fifth floor is the one with uh, the retro stuff and they even have like a dagashi kind of um, like retro snack section we're gonna go inside and uh, try to take the elevator up to the fifth floor. We'll start up on the fifth. Here we can see retro gaming. And then uh, we're gonna go down, work our way down through the floors. logos and stuff, uh, posters, images of what's on each floor. So this is going to be pretty fun. Um, hopefully all the music doesn't violate copyright stuff on YouTube, but we'll see. A lot of just amazing classic posters of games. Old gaming cabinets from like different eras. Yeah, a lot of this stuff is from like the, the 80s through the 90s. papers that you would find like posted on the actual machines or I'm just like the god of the car yeah yeah uh, no. I'm pretty sure it was rigged <laughs> <laughs> old school bomber man Hachi, uh, marvel vs capcom 2 There's some even older machines like these. <laughs> these are like really, really old. Very fun. Um, they were playing this. This is kind of like a looks like a new school Pong game here. Wow, it's an automatic demo. It's pretty cool. Look who it is. Oh, he's got a broken gun. Very interesting to see him here. There's like nobody here. Um, I'm here on a Thursday. It's around 1 p.m. So I think they switched these up. Um, like back over here, this Street Fighter. These other ones are under maintenance. They've got a a little paper there that says they're under maintenance. But yeah, this is uh, Street Fighter Zero. I don't remember when this came out. I think it came out like at the end of my high school time, like 1999 maybe? Yeah, so they, they switched these up. Um, I remember they had uh, 
the OG Street Fighter 2 Turbo and um, King of uh, Fighters and some other titles. Got a large Game Boy here. It looks like the screen is a little broken right now. I don't know what they were playing on it. I can come and get some ice cream. This is a good place to chill. Like, there's a bench. They've got vending machines here. So if you're like in the Akihabara area and you happen to like kind of stumble by here and you want like a, a place where there's really nobody, <laughs> you can tell there's a empty bench here. Get some more titles. Uh, what is this one? This is Dynamite Deka. I'm not sure what that one is. Uh, I do recognize this one, Final Fight. Old school Final Fight. It's from 1989. Wow. Um, something else here, my en my angel too. Oh, these are uh, not bubble bobble, but is this a uh, puyo puyo? I don't know what this is in English. Ah, yeah, this is the king of fighters, I think, right? Yeah, this is old school. Splatter house. <laughs> yeah, and um, if you're interested in like retro bagashi candy and stuff like that, they have a lot of these old retro types of things um, like pop rocks and gummies, you need to like powder candies and other things like that. A lot of this stuff is like very nostalgic for people who grew up in Japan. We're gonna skip that and head on down. Uh, they do have a money exchange here too, so if you want to break your larger coins, um, it's funny because they don't take the new 500 yen coin, only the old ones. But yeah, um, let's take the stairs down and check out the other place. Very cool. They show different titles. Um, I think they buy used games too. I'm not sure, but I think they do. It's always fun to just look at some of the old retro posters as well. Warning, do not throw trash in hallways, on stairs, or in cardboard boxes. If you throw it away, it might bring you bad luck. I like that they made it look like a retro game. Let's go in. Wow, just looking in right now is... What? So many old things. Of course, giant Mario. Like Nintendo toys and stuff. The old TV shows. There's some old consoles. PC Engine Dual R by NEC. <laughs> PC Engine, these are old gaming consoles. They have a whole bunch down here, too. Old PlayStations, PlayStation 2, the joystick stuff here. There's an Xbox, the original Xbox. What are these? Retro Generations. Atari Jaguar. In television. Old school. How much is this? 
Uh, it is 65,000 yen. With the exchange rate, what is that, like 400, 500 bucks? Yeah, I mean, there's like stuff everywhere. Back on my left, on my right side, I mean, discs, cartridges. Got to have the cables. There's some Xbox 360s. Look, there's a game soundtrack section. Final Fantasy VII game soundtrack. Brand new. Some soft music collection. Look like game guidebooks. They're wrapped in plastic, so you can't open them. Lots of different guidebooks. I used to get these for like Final Fantasy series when I played that. Final Fantasy 13 2. Unopened. Uh, here's a uh, PlayStation One games. Is this the original Biohazard? Yeah, this is the first Biohazard. It is used. So some of these do have like everything inside of it, all the paperwork, the warranty stuff. Some of them don't, so they actually tell you like what what's in it, what's not in it. titles I think the majority of them are going to be in Japanese and some of these older games back in the day they didn't have any translation you know they didn't have the option to change languages so there's a lot of stuff that if you come here and you get these older titles you, you need to know Japanese you need to know how to read Japanese um, to play them Rockman 6 yeah, it's fun to just like dig around and look for all this, um, look through all of these things. More game books. What is going on over here? It's a horror game display. this out. There's a whole catalog of Famicom games. Another one right here, Super Famicom. This is uh, the Japanese version of Super Nintendo. I used to have this. Nintendo 64 catalog. I remember when this first came out, um, I was in like ninth grade or something. And uh, they actually called it Ultra 64 back then. That was the Japanese one. It was like before re public release. Jump Comics. This is old too. Wow. Some plushies and figurines. So it's kind of a mix. Looks like some newer stuff over here. Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 2. Uh, I'm not going to look at every single thing, unfortunately. These are newer. Final Fantasy 7. We've got Dragon Quest Slimes. Uh, look, 
back here I can see these game cubes. A whole bunch of game cubes back here just stacked up. There's some old Atari. See like double dragon. Starship. This is a cool case. Super Famicom. I like that they have these old small TVs too, showing some of the stuff. Uh, Nintendo DS, DS titles. It's like a kanji training. card, Atomic Robo Kid, some old systems. PlayStation, more PlayStation. They've got like an old fishing controller for Bass Rise. Pachinko one. Did they have a pachinko adapter for PlayStation? Looks like it. Oh, it looks like this is. Uh, is this a 3D thing? It looks like a 3D thing. You look through it. Wow, Gun Con, fighting sticks. very tight in here so I'm sorry if some of these things are like not in frame I feel like I'm not pointing at things correctly yeah, PSP titles Persona 2 kids were like it's expensive it's expensive yeah some of these stuff uh, some of these things are not cheap look at this old school space invaders it's the cartridge here here's Sega CD double switch this looks like a mix of stuff right down here A super potato t shirt. Get your wonder soft work. Oh, nice. Look, they even have Kato Ken. That's uh, Shimura Ken and uh, Kato. Kato chan. Takato. Looks like he's a staff member loading up shirts, shirt designs. What do we got here? Retro PC. Are these PC like CD ROMs? They are. Oh no, this is for 3DO. Do you guys remember 3DO? Damn, it's old school. PS Vista. Looks like here's just cartridges only. They don't have the box or anything or the manual. It's like a couple hundred yen. What is this? It's like 300 yen. 400 yen. Could be a Zelda. Triforce 3. Dragon Quest. Squishy slime. Uh, they got the Game & Watch. This is old school. This is like one of the first kind of LCD screen type of games. Handheld games. Was it by Nintendo? I think it was by Nintendo. 14,000, 27,000. It looks in good condition. Pocket Sakura, pocket games, 
Bandai electronics game. Uh, I used to have something like these. This is cool too. What is this? Retron 77 gaming console. Here's Tamagotchi. Man, this thing's 25,000 yen. It's like 200 bucks. This looks like, uh, this cabinet looks like some rare titles. I mean, this, whatever this disc is, Tecmo Game Music, 43,000 yen. It's like $400. Turbo Graphic 16. This was bonk, right? These old consoles. PS1, 3,000 yen, a lot of the old consoles, PS2, 19,000 yen, comes with the controllers, it's like the full set, these are like refurbished, it looks really nice, uh, 10,000 yen, it's like 100 bucks, or less actually with the exchange rate. Keys. We got three DSs in here. Damn, this uh, Nintendo DS, it's a Pokemon version one with Pikachu. It's one thousand, uh, sorry, one hundred and seventy-three thousand. That's like a thousand, almost one thousand five hundred dollars. DS, DS Lite. Some Tamagotchis. Very nostalgic to see these. A Star Fox. Yeah, if you guys are like hunting for like rare stuff, you could probably find it here. Um, I know I'm not showing everything. It looks like they have an old school Atari in there. Oh yeah, here Atari 2600. Is there a price on it? There is not. And more Atari games. Countermeasure, Raiders, Kangaroo, Moon Patrol, Phoenix. Old controllers. What is this? Is this a sock? PlayStation sock. Yeah, so um, I feel like there's a lot that I missed in here and i am so sorry guys i am so sorry but it's it's overwhelming it's very narrow there's a lot of stuff to show but let's continue down i believe the third floor we're on the fourth floor the third floor is um more modern game like game stuff could be wrong. I forget. I haven't been here in a long time. Oh, they, re they redecorated. They renovated. It looks different. This is a uh, Pikmin. Yeah, so this is more modern stuff current titles or titles that were you know out in the last couple of years it looks like we can still see some old consoles look at this doesn't work with video cable this is the OG Famicom 
system with that uh, Super Famicom. These look really like discolored. I've seen some videos on YouTube where people were like fully refurbish these things back to its original condition even if it was like owned by a smoker and it was like covered in tar man this is so crazy to see these uh these rf switches for the back of old crt tvs computer by Nintendo. Got some GameCubes, some Nintendo Wii's, Nintendo 64's. Oh, this is such a good console. A Super Famicom and Nintendo 64. Those were like amazing times. Uh, lots of different cartridges here. This is looking like it's for Famicom. So this is the family computer one that we just saw. Lots of old titles. Leave it all in, okay? Old, dirty, broken controller it has no start button. <laughs> Can I even play anything? No? This is cool. Family computer robot. Is this for like fighting? I guess you look through here. The screen. Wow, look at this monitor back here behind it. This is by Bandai. Here's Super Famicom Box. I think these are for the displays like inside of stores. I guess we choose uh, some games. It's cool that they let you um, try stuff. Oh god. Alright, um, let's keep looking. Oh, I'm stuck. It's narrow in here. Oh, we've got a Sega 16 Mega Drive 2. What is this? Uh, Sega Saturn. I remember Sega Saturn. I never had it, but my friends had it. This is a Sega Master System. 38,000 yen. It's like 300 something bucks. It's got all the controllers and everything. So very, very cool. You can come here. They've got all these different old TVs up there showing all these different games. Of course, we've got to have the Pokemon plushies. Is this Sega Dreamcast? It is a Dreamcast. This is 14,000 yen. It looks, looks like it's in good condition. Sega Saturn steering wheel. I feel like there's like stuff down here I'm like not seeing. Sega Mark II. Sega Saturn. Sega Mega Drive. Uh, behind me, more modern stuff. This is all like Zelda merch. It's all kind of new merch. Cute stuff. The Pokemon. Yeah, more Pokemon gacha stuff. This is all new. Before they didn't have so much of this kind of like gacha type of things or Pokemon stuff. The last time I, I was here, um, I don't know, like the beginning of this year or something, it was more of just like focusing on games. Uh, they have a Nintendo Virtual Boy. They have the actual system. And unfortunately, it says it's uh, broken right now. It's it's not on. Yeah. Uh, last time I was here, this actually was working, and you could play uh, tennis, and there was some other racing game. Do you guys remember this? Yeah, you just look through here, and it, it was like a red screen. Old school. What do we got here? Um, more Super Famicom. Oh, no, this is just Famicom games. Really old titles. Wow, look at this. Wizardry. 
this is an old game. But it's in Japanese, so no English. If you're trying to play this, lots of old Dragon Quests. Uh, we've got um, Final Fantasy II. This is great. So you can get the world map on there. Yeah, I heard that um, this store, they actually uh, opened up their own eBay page. So you could actually get stuff on eBay. Because I think there are so many foreigners coming to Japan. And like, or like they wish they could come to Japan, but they couldn't. But they wanted to get these old games. And the computer. God, they have so many titles. Look at all of these old, old titles. It's very nostalgic just to see the, the cartridge itself. It's like 858 yen. Very cheap. A Ten yard fight. Old football game. Yeah, so this is like Japan's version of like NES, Nintendo Entertainment System. Uh, here's Sega Saturn titles, Radius Deluxe Pack, X-Men vs. Street Fighter. This is such a good thing. I used to play the, the arcade version of this. I don't know, this is Dreamcast. Dreamcast stuff. Got Super Famicom. Oh, these are so old school. Oh my god. Yeah, I remember um, growing up here. You know, of course, I, I played all these Dragon Ball ones. Dragon Ball Z, Z2, Z3. Um, with the Japanese games, if you had an American console, on the inside was this little plastic thing uh, in the uh, Super Nintendo uh, console, and if you removed it, then you could play the Japanese games, because uh, the way they had the, the fitting here, there was something about it, it wouldn't fit, but if you remove that plastic notch, um, you could play the Japanese games on the American system. And I think the American ones could play on the Japanese system without altering it, but yeah, that's something we used to do. Oh my god, Kunio? This is like precursor to Yakuza games. I mean, you just like run around in the street and like bash people, pick up trash cans and throw it and stuff. Lots of old titles. Mutant Fighters Death Braid, not Blade, B-R-A-D-E, Braid. Uh, I think I played this actually. Yeah. <laughs> Design one. Um, very cool to just like dig around. You know, some people dig around like through um, like crate digging for like vinyl albums and stuff. Uh, and then you got people doing like this where they're just like digging through old games. Final Fantasy IV Mystic Quest. I remember this. Front Mission, this is such a good game. I love this music too. It's very loud. Uh, behind me, more, um, uh, what do you call it? Super Famicom titles, and it actually has the box, which is cool. So these are how the boxes were for uh, Japan. Like, I think in, in America it was like this way, and like the shape was a little bit different. But in Japan, they were like, like VHS style. Like this, it was like portrait, vertical format. Galaxy Wars. Ultima 4. Oh my god. Yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying this so far. I'm so sorry, uh, you know, I can't show every single title and every single little detail. Oh, what is this? Frieza's trump card. 
this for a game system? Oh, it looks like it. Uh, let's see what's back here. Oh, it's a tight fit. Old school Mario Kart? Mario Double Dash. Mario Kart Double Dash. Mega Drive. Yeah, we saw that earlier. These are the cartridges for that system. There's more with the actual cases. I feel like I've seen this before. Rainbow Islands Extra. Oh, I have all the original Game Boy cartridges. So many different titles. Donkey Kong Land. It's 2,948 yen. It's like 20-something bucks. Yeah, let me know in the comments, like, if you grew up playing video games, what, what was your favorite system? Or favorite game? Maybe, or game and system. Or you could list, like, every system that you've played and your favorite game for every system. Let me know in the comments. I'm curious. What is this? Oh, it's a Super Mario Brothers belt. Legend of Zelda Link to the Past tote bag. Mario Brothers tie. Side Angel. Is this a wrestling game? It's got the the image changing cover. Yeah, it looks like a Japanese women's wrestling. Oh, Mega Drive. I never played Mega Drive. Fantasy Star. I did play Fantasy Star, but not on Mega Drive. Ah. It pocket MD HD. Interesting. Is this like the precursor to the Switch? I've never even heard of this one. Old titles. Uh, this is for Sega. Bare Knuckle. Super Monaco GP. Like some of these titles, I remember playing them, but not for this system. USB cables. So it's cool that they have all the cables and stuff too. Ah, here we go. Looking at some Game Boys. Uh, clear case Game Boy. 31,000 yen. We've got a Game Boy Light. Silver and kind of gold color. 50,000 yen. For that. Almost 500 bucks. Ah, Game Boy Advance. I love this one so much. Uh, wait, this is the SP, right? SD? Yeah, so good. Sorry. Um, this is here. Yeah, more, more Game Boy Advance cartridges. Saturn titles, more stuff in the case, um, what's down here, Legend of Zelda, there's Super Nintendo version, Ancient Stone Tablets Master Quest, not for sale, it's really dark. Yeah, these, uh, the stuff in the case looks like more like really rare titles, like this cartridge here, Spriggan Powered, 22,000 yen, it's like 200 bucks. More rare stuff. So if you're like a collector... You could come here, look for stuff. Nintendo 64. Oh, Dobutsu no Mori. This is Animal, animal Crossing game. Yeah, 
a Star Fox 64. Mario Party, Mario Kart 64. All the old 64 titles. And then uh, the titles in uh, the box. Oh, that's a classic. Oh, this one's for Wii, though. GoldenEye. There's GoldenEye for 64. That was such a good game. Super Famicom titles. Final Fight, Rockman. Oh, they got the the converter ones here too. I think so you could play the um, the smaller cartridge. Here, do they have Game Genie? I wonder if they have Game Genie here. They probably do. Did I come here already? It's hard to tell where I have been and where I haven't been. But yeah, old school uh, Famicom family computer. What is this? It's just, oh, it's in a disc. Uh, these are discs? Disc system. Oh, is this when Nintendo had like a disc system? Oh, it even says disc system on it. Yeah, ice hockey. Yeah, I think Nintendo had a, a disc system back in the day. Do they have it here? I didn't see it. I see this Virtual Boy system back here. 32,000 yen. It's like roughly 300 bucks. Oh man, they've got Section Z. I hated this game so much. It was so difficult. You die, you start from the beginning like of that level. I mean, it's so easy to die. <laughs> It was a terrible game. I don't know if I beat it or not. Retron Square? Never even heard of this. Anyways, um, very cool. As you can see, there's a lot of foreigners in here. I think I saw very few Japanese. It's a very famous place for uh, visitors who love gaming. This is like the Mecca. You know, coming here looking for old stuff from your childhood, rare titles, collectibles. Yeah, very cool. Let's um, head out. Oh, there's a drawer here. What is this? Got some guns. Sega Saturn gun. It's kind of random titles. Oh my god, they have the Super Scope. My friend had this and he brought it to my house one time. I remember we were playing it shooting some monsters. I forget what they were called. Yeah, Super Scope. That's old school. I'm sure they have the Power Glove here too. Nintendo Power Glove somewhere. Um, I did not see it though. Gold cartridge games were always cool. Definitely. Alien Battle, it looks like some kind of hentai title. I could be wrong. <laughs> Let's, uh, let's get out. Yeah, so I think that's it. Um, but as you walk around, like in the hallway, it's kind of dark here. They have all these different things about the, the consoles, like the information, like release date, 1990, uh, the CPU processing power, all that stuff. So let's head down. Yeah, so what did you guys think of that? Um, it was very tight. I am so sorry. There was like so many things in there that I probably um, did not look at or I missed. I completely missed 
Um, yeah, it's just, it's a lot to look at. It's a lot to take in, but it's very cool. Uh, the aisles are very narrow, as I said, so it was very hard to kind of like maneuver myself around there. There was probably a lot of things, especially like on the lower levels of the shelves that I missed. But um, yeah, anyways, uh, just like a full little tour of uh, Super Potato Retro Gaming Store, flagship store here in Akihabara, Tokyo. Um, if you guys liked what you saw, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more content. And uh, like I said before, let me know now. Uh, let me know down in the comments below uh, what was your favorite system growing up and what was your favorite game. Or as uh, I mentioned, also if you want to mention just every system you've ever played and one title that was your favorite for that system, um, let me know. What, what would be mine? Um, I think for regular Nintendo. NES, I guess I would say. Um, man. What would I... Uh, I think maybe, maybe Super Mario Brothers 3 for uh, the original NES. And then uh, for Super Nintendo, um, gotta go with Final Fantasy 6. That was up there. Um, Secret of Mana um, for Nintendo 64. GoldenEye was a classic. So was Perfect Dark. And um, I'm trying to think of what else. Yeah, PlayStation 1, um, I played the hell out of like Gran Turismo. Um, PlayStation 2, I think was like Grand Theft Auto 3. PlayStation 3, I actually never played PlayStation 3 or 4 or 5 ever in my life. Um, so I can't really say. Uh, as for Xbox, um, Halo, got to go with the Halo series for the original Xbox. Xbox 360, um, I'm, uh, Grand Theft Auto 4, maybe? I can't remember what some of the other, I, like, yeah, I, I've played so many games, but there's, you know, certain games that stick out in your memory, uh, in your mind. Um, you know, I played these consoles and stuff like that, but through and through, I am a PC gamer at heart, always been PC gaming for as long as... I can remember so that one I don't even remember like where to start like I, I've just been a PC gamer through and through but anyways guys thank you so much for watching and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you and see you in the next video bye bye